Gary. Yes. This is exciting to be here. It's so exciting. What are we doing here? Well, we're celebrating the release of The Great Depression on HBO. <laughs> and so we yes. decided instead of doing a premiere, why don't we all talk about how depressed we are? <laughs> and it was hard to find depressed comedians. <laughs> <laughs> but we found the two best ones. Yeah. Let's bring out the great Maria Bamford and Pat Oswald, everybody! Seeing you for the first time tonight, I've never seen you. I thought your stuff was amazing. <laughs> And, uh, and Judd says he shot a th some footage of you that HBO's gonna show, and yes. that's amazing. <laughs> Therapy saved my life. I believe I broke my therapist. Yeah, I was leaving his office, and I was shutting the door, and I heard him go. Have you ever had a fear of losing your job because of a mental health issue? Because show business can be very understanding about mental health, but at the same time, it can also be like, <laughs> You're good now, right? <laughs> Do you see any of that? Like, w when you're looking at your, your mental, uh, whatever you're struggling with personally, and then do you sometimes see it out in macro, cosmic form in the world sometimes? And it's yes, like, I mean, for most of my life, I was forcing myself to be the aggressive guy and play contact sports and everything like that, and I really just, I, I just wanted to, to collage. <laughs> But it seems like part of your struggle you talk about is that you don't feel the way you look. Yes, yes. I'm, I'm built like the Jewish Gaston, but inside. <laughs> I, I took the Disney Prince test and I'm a bell. I'm a bell. I, I love to read and mental illness runs in my family. My, yeah. I worry about this all the time, that my work has suffered from me not being able to be as productive as I thought I once was. I don't know, I was, I was manic, so it's hard to say uh, whether, whether I was truly being productive or if I was just calling the Pope a lot. <laughs> I have so many ideas, Pope! <laughs> That's a common like, one, calling the Pope. I, I literally flashed to you like, that was the beginning of like a Zoloft commercial you were doing. Like, I didn't know if I was being productive just calling the Pope a lot, but you know what? Once I got on Zoloft, like, wait a minute, which, why the fuck would she call him the, like, just a throwaway line and a, and a drug ad? <laughs> it's a short-sighted language where the word for not wanting to live anymore is the same as, well, the Mets lost or the, the yeah. yeah you've like darkness yes. visible, and then yes. there's like, mm, yes. I just don't feel good today. <laughs> One of my favorite jokes you did was about the people at work who you say you have depression and they say we're all depressed but you made it yeah we all have cancer yeah, yeah. you don't think i have cancer every morning <laughs> <laughs> did that ever make me feel empowered yeah. what is the relationship like with uh people who come to see you uh when you talk about these issues what do you want them to take from it i want them to take hope that that because two and a half years ago I was frequently Googling painless suicides, and now I can't wait to do more shows, and, and I just, I'm, I'm so grateful I stuck around for this. Thank you guys for coming out. Thank you so much. October 5th, The Great Depress, Gary Goldman, Maria Bamford, Pat Oswald. Thank you guys for coming out. Thank you.